Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana. Nana. Wow, that took uh, that took a shot for the worst. Hey, I'm back. Hoo -hoo. And we're playing some more seasons. I'll show some um, screenshots. Here, here they come. Took a little holiday. The time they talk things through, invent the um, you know, love, find the love that they have for each other. Almost love day. Love day is tomorrow, and we're super excited for that. Now let's say Salem is out. We want to make an arrangement. Like Cassie has to puke first. We want to make a nice bouquet for Salem. Surprise him with like a romantic dinner. So we're gonna put some candlelight on. The thing he wants to do is finish what he started before he left. So he's gonna just play some games by himself. He's over the moon. He finally has a little TV. And I'll. I'll it's fine it's fine like i i really don't care it's fine you know what if he wants if the man wants a tv let the man have his tv right for some reason my muslims was a little leggy right there try this again and make an arrangement oh that's much better so let's see what should she make i feel like roses are just very classic so let's oh can we actually well that would be the best one wouldn't it um Citrus dream. How about this romantic rouge? That sounds really nice. Let's make that um, I think it'll be like a nice little surprise We'll just have to see if we can get Salem out of the house Maybe in the morning ask him to run some errands or do something but She just needs you know, just a little maybe an hour or two just to prepare everything Maybe put on a new dress. Oh, she has First of all, Cassie's not a dress person, so when she puts on a dress, you know, you know damn well what time it is. It is business time. Cassie has some big, big plans, and you will not, you will not believe what she has planned and what she has in store for us. Oh boy, oh boy, Cassie, oh dear, Cassie here. Ooh, big plans. Gonna tell you in the morning. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you right now because I don't want to spoil anything. But what could our Cassie possibly have planned for her romantic day, her romantic date night with poor old Salem? Hmm. Leave a comment down below right now. What do you think Cassie has planned for our little, our little friendly neighbor Salem? Unless you be right. It is love day, and Salem has awoken very early, not only to pee, but he also has some plans for his first love day with Cassie. So you might be thinking, well, everything is fine now, right? Because they went on a holiday together, they're both trying to celebrate love day, but they're both trying really hard because they both know that there is something that's been lost during this whole entire lying losing a baby, not trusting each other kind of period. So it's definitely not broken. It's a little bend, like they say. It's not broken, it's bend, and you gotta learn to love again. <laughs> he woke up, I think, with another... Oh, she's very... What? Cassie has a hangover? Oh my god, she had... A... Did she drink? I didn't even know Cassie drank. Salem is being very attentive, and he's like, babe, I can see that you're having, you're not feeling yourself. I'm gonna make you some breakfast. Why don't you get in the bath? Bring yourself a bubble bath or something, which is just, mm, it's just, it sounds like music in her ear. She's so happy. She's just like, so happy to have a little moment in the morning just to herself. And poor old Salem seems to have work today, which, you know how Salem is, he's not gonna take day off and I don't even think Cassie expects him to, you know, both of these, like I told you many times before, Cassie is very hardworking and Salem is very driven as well, maybe not as hardworking and ambitious as Cassie is, but he's definitely not gonna lose a day, so his way of um, trying to make up is, you know, planning something for when he comes back, like making breakfast, you know, giving her a kiss, something like that, and then when he comes back, um, he'll kind of like try to smooch a little with his lady, you know, you know what I'm saying? And because of this whole, you know, ordeal, both of them are trying to make up. Cassie is trying to give him something very attentive and very sweet and very romantic like a, a really nice gesture to herself uh, from herself to Salem and Salem is not really good at building really good at things like that so I think he's just going to maybe pick up some flowers or some roses or whatever when um you know he gets back from work with the whole thing that just happened like he can't ignore that well, you know, a lot has gone down. Like, no matter no matter what you tell yourself, you just you cannot deny that we've had a lot of stress lately. And it's only natural that there's going to be some friction. But I think it's important to remember, like, who you are and where you come from. And that everything will be fine. Like, as long as you believe in the love. You know, very cheesy, very cheesy. But this episode is all about cheesy love, right? So we have to be quick. 
just do a quick little serenade and um just you gotta you gotta you gotta leave man you gotta leave it's like bye babe mm -hmm. i have one tool for to decorate and kind of get the mood set it and salem is such a slob i swear sometimes we're just like what are we getting ourselves into salem is just like opposite of us we love cleanliness and and salem is just like oh whatever i'll dump my clothes here i don't really care about it and it's so hot in here like i don't know where it's coming from this is not on is it no I guess we're just so good looking that we're just spassing ourselves up, raising our temperatures for tonight. So let's set the table really nice. Let's make it all really pretty. I love how the red kind of matches with the bouquet in the middle. Really, really nice. All we just need are some candles. That would that would be super, super nice. And maybe we can dim the lights because that would definitely... Um, I know, I feel like it would definitely set the mood a little bit. There you go. That's a lot better. And then probably um, empty, you know, Betty's stinking bowls. That would be nice as well. So let's see if we can get some uh, candles lit and make this place look a little nice and romantic. Look, I don't want to toot my own horn, but this looks so cute. Look at the little candles and the card she got him. This is all adding up to a big surprise, of course, but we have a few hours before uh, all this goes down. Oh, we definitely can't forget our little flower and I hope... Oh no, it was a poor quality. Oh, we probably should have practiced this. Oh lordy, what are we going to do with this? Are we... Okay, are we going to have time? I gotta I gotta stop my duties. I got I gotta stop my he comes home. I really don't want to ruin the surprise. I really do not want to ruin the surprise. I've been planning this ever since our holiday. And you know Cassie. Cassie is not really marriage potential because you know how Cassie is like, I don't wanna, you know, confine to one person. I feel like if I do that I'm gonna lose myself. I'm going to give up my career and I'm gonna just lose every thing that I've worked so hard for but Salem has definitely made her and I think also her age I mean she's aging up to an adult pretty soon made her realize that she actually does crave stable life and maybe not kids so much I mean even though the pregnancy has kind of made her made her wonder a little bit like what would it be uh after this loss of this baby she's definitely not looking forward to having any kids you know, like soon but I think she's definitely like on this road of commitment if you would say so it might seem a very like sudden and very hasty, but I kid you not, she has planned a proposal for Salem. She is actually going to get down on her knees and propose, just like he once did. Last season, he proposed to Cassie, and um, she she rejected him. So it could go both ways. Either he's going to, you know is going to reject her or she might just be the most ballsy lady see i don't think marriage asking for someone to marry you is really a guy thing i just think it's more common for a guy to do it but cassie is <laughs> cassie has balls cassie is cassie she doesn't listen to what's normal and what's a little bit out of the ordinary she she really doesn't you know doesn't care much. She does what she wants, and that's all I really care about. Now, just in case this one is going to ch turn out even worse, I'm gonna keep this one. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to get that done. Salem is still at work. We have. Oh my god, he's sick. Okay, that's really random. Uh, Kathy really loves. I think both of them. Yeah, both of them really love this tradition. So that's really handy. Oh, she's done. Let's see. Normal. Oh, perfect. Okay, I think normal is the best we're able to do. So I want to, yeah, I don't, do I want to like put it on the table perhaps? That looks actually kind of nice. Oh my god, that looks, that was really nice. Okay, so our last part of everything is actually we were going to cook them up something. Maybe we should order. I don't, hmm, how about we bake something? um maybe it's not super like romantic but i'm gonna have some italian some italian uh, meatballs because i i think salem would definitely be a person i would love some italian meatballs or some bowls in general no that yeah 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 i went with that i went there i went there so um i don't mind salem seeing us you know kind of cooking and whatever not but I, I rather not see him in my dress before I'm like ready for it. Like I want to be ready and then cook. Cause you don't want to get some. You won't want to get your spaghetti and meatball sauce on your on your you know, on your dress. You don't want that. Oh look at Betty. <laughs> she's just like oh she's so sweet. I swear Betty is like her best friend. Oh my god. And I can't believe my Sam is about to get married. Or maybe not. Who knows? Maybe he says no. I don't know that. 
Salem is just like coming home and by, by, by miracle, by some chance, he uh, decided, <laughs> he did, he did decide this um, last minute since he wasn't feeling so well to uh, stop by the hospital. Um, three hours, that's a long time though. You know what? You know what? You know what? He's gonna go to the hospital. He he doesn't feel so well. He's like, I'll just get back in a second. Just gonna quick quickly my my you know my, my head fixed and maybe get a, like a painkiller or something. I'm not feeling super well, which is perfect because now Cassie can go on and make her dessert. So, for dessert, what are we gonna make? I saw some chocolate cookies that I think are really really nice. So let's cook. Let's find those chocolate cookies. I think Salem is a sucker for meatballs and, and cookies, especially chocolate cookies. There it is, black and white cookies. Now I'm gonna put these on the table. I have a dress in her inventory, so it's gonna be like, I'm gonna put her in something new. I'm really, really excited. Oh my god, I can't believe Cassie's actually gonna do this. Like, oh my god, like, is he going to accept? <laughs> like, it's kind of sudden. It's actually really, really sudden. So, what if he says no? Like, oh my god. So we don't actually have a dress yet, so I get to pick out something really nice. I have, of course, this dress. I mean, I have to find something that's really Cassie-like. I don't see... This is not flattering on Cassie. This is not flattering on Cassie. But something like this is already a lot more flattering. Or maybe something like this. Ooh, that's that's also... That's, that's really nice. See, that I think that flatters her a lot more. But let's see if there's anything else. What about this one, for example? I feel like we've already worn this one. Hmm. I mean, I like it, but is it Cassie like? I don't really. He's never been much of a stylist, like a trendsetter. Like this is definitely probably an outfit that um, Savannah has picked out or something, or she took it from somewhere because we all know she's not really like into fashion and stuff like that. So usually, you just throw something comfortable together for her to actually, you know, get out of her comfort zone is is really nice. Let's see if we can put on some uh, some lipstick, some. Uh, some hot, hot lipstick. Some hot, bright red lipstick. I must, I must have that. I swear, I must, I must have something like that. What about this one? I like that. Really subtle, but I really, really do like it. And I think I got some eyes that, um, some new default, new default. I got some new default eyes. So I wonder if I can take them off. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cute. I, I mean, I'm not used to her looking like this, but I definitely, it's really, it's really cute. So I just... I just keep it for now. Just for now. Just don't tell anyone. Just for now. Um, maybe it can just get some more dramatic. Ooh. Oh, Cassie, I might want to marry you myself. To our, our sexy mama outfit. I'm so proud of her. She's come so far. Doesn't look like he's coming home yet. So let me just do some chores. It's Maybe it's really random and maybe it's really weird to like, you know, go out in my garden wearing this looking like a sexy mama but you know what it's cassie cassie doesn't care it's like it's only clothes they'll, they'll get dirty some other time i don't really care so let's um let's get that done is there anything else perhaps we can do with these plans is was that the only one that i could evolve because that's kind of sad <laughs> it's kind of sad honestly let me let me see no i found another plant this one we can evolve i think that must be it Wait, 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 more choices. Those pancakes, oh my god, she's obsessed with pancakes. Salem probably knew this, like, he made her pancakes once and now she's like, I want more pancakes. No, no, sit down, you're not getting, you're not getting those pancakes. You, woman, you just made some meatballs and cookies. You're not getting those pancakes. You, yeah, be embarrassed. You sit here and be a good girl. <gasps> Salem has returned. Oh my god, he's very smelly. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, she just disappeared. No, 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 you, you, no, you get back on this chair. You get back on this chair. I think the first thing he wants to do is probably take a shower when he gets back home. But he, oh my god, I actually hope he just, this is a weird glitch and I'm not okay with this. This is demonic stuff that I don't want to happen. Not right now, even though she just made dinner. Aw, he looks at everything and he's just like, oh my god, it's, oh, it's so sweet, but I just... 
I just, I just feel so, so smelly. Are you okay if I just like take a quick little shower? Is, is that fine with you? She's like, of course, babe. Just if, if you feel more comfortable, take, take a shower. Just be quick though, because I'm really hungry and I've been preparing this all day. And I, I really have a gift. Like I, I really, I really want to show you something. So please like don't make me wait any longer. I'm already really nervous as it is. So let's have her watch some TV. And um, no, you're not taking a bubble bath. I, she said quick woman. She said quick. She didn't say take your damn time and be an old ass wrinkly lady in the bath. I swear to you. <gasps> I told him not to get in the bathtub. And what did he do? He got in the bathtub. <laughs> Honestly. Well, I finally got them downstairs together. And now they're sitting six feet apart. Well, you know what? This is just my life. I Aww, he wrote a poem about her and he just, oh, that's so sweet. Oh my god, that's so sweet. They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. See, I told you, meatballs are, are mm, and there's something in those meatballs that's very, um, it's almost like uh, Viagra. It's like Viagra meatballs, only it um, doesn't give you a rocks in your pants. It only mix your heart a little oh whatever this is a bad story this is this is not okay let's just nope after coming home he really cannot wait to give her his gift that he got after work he found a single rose just for her and he is just like he's actually kind of nervous like thinking mm, it's like I don't know. I, Salem is is obviously like a very sweet dude. Like, don't get me wrong, but I think that he's very, like I said, very bad at confrontations, and maybe he feels a little awkward actually giving her a gift in a way. Maybe it's a bit too confronting as well. I don't know what you guys think. I mean, maybe he's he seems a little hesitant. This is like the, the second time that I had to actually make him gift the gift. So uh, maybe he feels a little uncomfortable. Maybe he's a little awkward. I'm not really sure. I love how she's dressed up, and he looks like he just had a Christmas party. Both of them apparently are getting very tired or heading upstairs and I think Cassie is almost a little bit worried now that he's just gonna fall asleep because Salem is very lazy and he falls asleep everywhere so maybe it's not exactly the perfect place to propose but you know what, these, two, these are two very different sims that I'm used to so why not? I wonder if she's nervous, she looks really calm, cool and collected. Let's hold his hand, kind of work up to the moment, talking, saying hey I know we haven't had the best days lately but all the days that i did spend with you even if they were bad were the best days of my life and i kind of regret not accepting to marry you you know a while back and i've been thinking about it and um i i, I think i'm ready i think i think i i do I do really want to spend the rest of my life with you and I was so scared and I, I I think I was so foolish I was I was so foolish did he just offer to like woohoo or something no he didn't okay I was like woohoo in the middle of my no wait they did Salem got really into the mood and he's like oh babe like you're so sweet and then he was he just he just wanted to kind of make up for the nights that he lost they haven't really woohooed in a while because after you know all the things going on and I think he was really needy. <laughs> I think that would be really needy. Better chain. I don't think there's a better choice than hell. So here we go. Oh my god, are we ready for this? Are we ready for this? Are we ready for this? I really want her. Actually, you know what? I, I for 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 the th for the thumbnail, I'm just gonna put her back in her outfit. Thumbnails are very important, you guys. Go, dear Salem. Oh no! Don't no. Really? Are you really making the woman chase you downstairs for just for I, I, I have no words. Oh my god. Anyway, it's finally happening. <laughs> da, 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 da. Well actually Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is too cute. Did he say <gasps> he said yes? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, he said yes. Oh my god. Uh. Okay, now you can sleep. Apparently, the woohoo was mediocre too. <laughs> oh my god. Mediocre woohoo, huh? But he loved it. Oh my god, he had the- No, no, the woohoo was just really bad. Anyway, I am going to end this episode right here. I think both of them just really want to go to bed. 
uh oh my god oh crazy they're engaged oh my god who could have, oh my god, salem you look scary who could have thought that in the end they actually get together and oh my god i'm just like oh my god anyway guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching this support i had very much fun uh, uploading this and recording this and playing this and doing this and sitting here and talking for 30 minutes and uh, yeah <laughs> i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next part bye <laughs>